supposed to be because this morning we unfortunately missed our flight. There was a two hour delay in customs, so we did not get on the connection to Miami to get us to Antigua. So we're going to Chicago, we're in Chicago, we're going to Miami, laying overnight, and then tomorrow we get to go to Antigua. It's been a long journey in, but we just got to Hodges Bay. I am super excited about this mural. Cannot wait to take you along the journey. Okay. My two paintings are going right there. Oh, where are the paintings? They're not hung. I guess they're not framed yet. Oh, they're already here. Yeah. So we have to get paint right now to start organized, but we'll have a rum punch first. So we just walked it. I think we're looking like around 40 to 50 feet wide, um, about 30 to 40 feet tall. So by that assumption, we're gonna need a lot of paint. Let's go get it. Okay. No problem. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. It's outdoor, of course. Yeah. Um, we picked out Canadian tire swatches because we're from Canada, so we need to start pulling the right ones. So, they don't accept American Express. So, if you ever come to Antigua, make sure you either bring US or if you go to the bank, they're going to give you Eastern Caribbean um, Central Bank dollars. And it looks like Canadian actually. So, so if you come to Antigua and you want US, you're gonna have to go to the back to the yeah, airport US, to get it. Uh, at the casino in St. John's. That's King's ah, Casino. Oh, casino. Oh, yes. They have a casino and you get US dollars. Oh, we can. Oh, so. Okay, so we maybe we'll have to stop by the casino. <laughs> Whatever. So we just got back to the hotel. Got all the supplies, beautiful Hodges Bay. Can't wait. So, it's day two that we're here, official day one of painting. We are taping everything off right now and about to get started. I'm excited. I'm just making sure all the tape's down because we're gonna need it up for a couple days. Now we're gonna throw our tarps down and get painting. Right, we're gonna go light, dark, light, dark, light, dark. This, that pole's gotta line up with the ceiling up there. This pole's gotta line up with the ceiling up here. And then like this bottom, bottom piece, I've gotta line up with that piece, I've gotta line up with that piece. Okay, so now we're gonna add this darker pink. I mixed it with that because I wanna add a bunch of it through in like smaller, smaller area. So then the, the background is gonna come through the, the, the darkness is gonna come through the background. So day two, it's a rainy day today unfortunately. So the problem with a rainy day, it doesn't do well for outdoor murals. So. When it rains, the moisture actually goes into the brick wall and actually can cause the paint to bubble. So we're gonna take today off of painting. Hopefully it stops raining tomorrow and then we can get right back started. But we went to the store, we bought a bunch more paint, got a bunch more supplies, because we got two or three layers left of this mural and I'm super excited for it. So since we got a little bit of time today, I wanna walk around a bit. They have an incredible art collection here at Hodges Bay and I'm so grateful to be a part of it. I actually have two paintings going up on this wall right here. So I did two five foot by four foot paintings, one silver, one's gold. We're gonna be putting that up this week, which will be super, super, super exciting. But as I mentioned, they have an incredible art collection. Here we got Brendan Murphy there and there, and a bunch of other stuff. I'm gonna take you over to the, uh, the pool area here. So this is one of the pools right here. They got this beautiful pool, palm trees. There's the ocean over there, and they have an infinity pool just on the other side with a hot tub and all that type of fun stuff. But Anyways, we're gonna go and try to enjoy the day. Even though we got some rain, we're still gonna enjoy it. See you guys soon. Remember 
remember how we said we were gonna fill up these two spots? Well, here are the pieces. I just stretched them. They are now up on display and in the permanent collection of Hodges Bay. I'm super grateful for that. So on top of the mural, and although we can't do it today because as I mentioned, it's raining, we ended up stretching two canvases and now they're here. And these canvases were really fun. So they actually built the frames here. I had them rolled up. They were initially in Puerto Rico, then we brought them over here to Antigua. And AJ even helped me build out the frames, which was awesome. We stretched it, we stapled it, and now they are on display. So on top of the mural, whenever you are in Hodges Bay, this is an incredible spot for a photo op with the two hearts to my left and to my right, silver and gold. So it just stopped raining and we're hoping that it's gonna dry up so I can keep painting. But until then, it's a little bit overcast. But we're gonna head over to the little private island. Just called, I can't really see it here, but it's just out there. It's called Prickly Pear. And by the way, this sculpture by Brendan Murphy is absolutely incredible. Giant spaceman, such an inspiration. Really, really beautiful. But we're gonna head over there right now. We are here at Prickly Pear, and unfortunately, it's starting to rain right now. We thought we were gonna come over here to kill a little bit of time before the sun came out, but the opposite is happening. All good, we're still gonna make the best of it. So, we're on the beach right now. As you can see, the mural is going to be right there. Whoa! <laughs> I just fell. Um, here's the ocean. So the mural has a really pretty view. Um, this is the beautiful, incredible Hodges Bay, which I'm so grateful to be a part of now. We have some paintings that went up and this beautiful art collection, one of the most incredible art collections, well, definitely on this island, but out of any resort and hotel around. So I'm very, very grateful to be a part of this. And, and yeah, as you can see through the palm trees here, that's where the mural is gonna be. It was really cool because we were just at that island, Prickly Pear, and as we took the boat in, you can actually see the mural coming in. That's like super exciting. So. We will see you day four. It is a beautiful day. I'm already sweating. It's hot out, but we get to go work on the mural because it's not raining. I'm super excited. I got all of the paint ready and set. Ready, set, go. So we are working away, just had a quick lunch. We got the drips coming through from the top and I'm about to add them all right here. We have to go, we have to, go to the store to get some more supplies, of course, but it's coming along. So for today, we're gonna add these drips, blend the rest of the colors together, and then tonight we're gonna add the outlines of the hearts. I just bought pink, white, and a little bit of black for the outlines for the hearts. So I have a big hearts that are gonna be coming through here, coming through the top, and the little ones uh, sort of trailing on the way up. So I'm excited for that. Now let's get back to work. So, even though this is a huge mural, size-wise, we still gotta pay attention to detail, so I am just painting every step so it looks like part of the artwork, and that's it. It's day four or five or six, I'm not sure, I lost track of days, but the mural is coming along. I sketched a bunch of hearts. So, what we're doing is there's gonna be a bunch of hearts that sort of trail up here, because this is the fall of your heart. You can see the scale of it now. And then we have one that's layered in with a pink outline. The main colors here are pink, blue, and a little bit of yellow, just to really have this overall vibe. It's coming along. Everything is coming here. We got a bunch of the hearts in. We got a bunch of hearts up top. Waiting for some scaffolding to do the really tall ones. 
But this is a really fun part of the mural because a lot of the guests and the hotel guests that have been here for the last four or five days have seen this come to life and now they're coming around to take pictures and stuff, which is super, super, super cool. So I'm doing two or three layers on every single one of these hearts just to give it some depth. We got the pink that sort of outlines it, gives us a, like a halo effect. We're still trying to decide if we're going to paint the full up here in white or we're gonna stick, keep it right here. I like the contrast, but we might white it out. We'll see soon. So this resort here at Hodges Bay is known as one of the most Instagrammable resorts in the world by Forbes and a bunch of other incredible publications. So now having something that is going to actually live, um, not only for social media, but as a collectible piece of art. And that's what I was so grateful to be a part of Hodges Bay here because their art collection, like literally incredible. So I'm so grateful to be a part of this collection and now have a piece that's an installation, Instagrammable, big work of art, all that fun stuff. I am so grateful. Day five or six, I'm still not sure. The lost track of days, but we are just finishing up. I added two big hearts in the center here, and then we got the scaffolding that brought us all the way to the top there, which was amazing. I'm super excited. So what we're gonna do now, is I, I'm pointing over here, there's no there's no hearts over here. <laughs> what we're gonna do now is I am gonna overlay every single heart. So I'm gonna go back in and add another coat of white to every single heart, just to make them pop a little more, make them a little more vibrant for when, for depth and viewing. Then what we're gonna do is, after I do all that, I'm gonna add a couple more drips, and then we gotta do a couple layers of protected ceiling, because we need to seal this. We got, remember we have the ocean right here, it rains, there's all fun stuff. We're open to the elements, so that's what I'm gonna do. Just finished the mural. I am super, super excited about how it came out. I love the texture, the depth, the layers, all the colors that were used, the pink outline. I love it all. I'm super grateful. Hodges Bay, you are the best. I'm super, super grateful to being part of this incredible art collection. And now this immersive installation mural that'll be here forever and ever and ever. And stay tuned because I have a super big project coming up in the near future. You'll see that soon. Bye guys.